Mr. Shiv Khera is the founder of Qualified Learning Systems Incorporated USA. An author, educator and business consultant, he is a much sought after speaker. He inspires and informs people, helping them to realize their true potential. He has taken his dynamic personal messages to opposite sides of the globe, from the US to Singapore. His 30 years of understanding and experience has helped people on the path of personal growth and fulfillment. He has been recognized by the Roundtable Foundation, honored by the Lions International and Rotary International. Mr. Shiv Kara's client list includes, among others, Lufthansa, Motorola, Nestle, Philips, Gillette, GM, Carrier, IBM, Ericsson, Ed, HSBC. He has appeared on numerous radio and television shows. Mr. Kara is also the author of the international bestseller book, You Can Win, which has sold over 2 million copies in 16 languages. His other books are on their way to creating new records. Tens of thousands have benefited from his dynamic workshops internationally in 17 countries and over 2 million people have heard him as a keynote speaker. His trademark is Winners don't do different things. They do things differently. The programs are based on two premises. One, we don't have business problems, we have people problems. And when we take care of our people problems, most of our business problems are automatically resolved. And two, whenever a person says, I cannot do this, they're really saying two things. One, either I don't know how to do it or I don't want to do it. Now, if they're saying, I don't know how to do it, that's a technical training education issue. But if they're saying, I don't want to do it, they're really saying two things. One, Either I don't care to do it, that's an attitude issue, or I feel strongly enough not to do it, that's a values issue. And these are the two issues that we address and we find a greater percentage of problems in most organizations across the world fall into these two categories. Folks, and we've asked this one question to most decision makers, if there was one thing you'd like to see changed that would make your organization more productive, what would it be? And guess what they came back with? One word, attitude. If our people had a better attitude, we'd have a better teamwork, quality and bottom line would go up. Think about it, folks. How come under the same set of circumstances, some people break records while others break themselves? And two, everybody wants to climb up the ladder to success only to find that the ladder is leaning against the wrong building. So what we're saying is success is important but without fulfillment, it's empty. That's like good looks without goodness. They become irritating after some time. So we gotta have substance over form, not just form over substance. Many sales training and customer service programs teach people how to shake hands, how to say please, how to say thank you, how to smile. Folks, don't get me wrong. The pleases, thank you, smiles are important. But the question is, Unless we have the desire to serve, how long can we keep a fake smile? And besides, people can see through people, can't they? And if the smile is not sincere, it's irritating, isn't it? So we got to have substance over form, not just form over substance. And folks, one thing that we find that differentiates us is invariably, you hear people telling others what to do. We take a different approach. Our approach is why don't you? Because we believe most people already know what to do. If you ask a person on the street, they'll give you all the right answers. Ask them, are they doing it? Probably not. So what's missing is the motivation. Now the question is, can we motivate people? The answer is absolutely not. But what we can do is we can inspire people to motivate themselves, but we cannot motivate them. Why? Folks, Motivation is action. I can't act for you. You got to act for yourself. But inspiration is thinking. When thinking changes, it starts reflecting in behavior, doesn't it? Which is more lasting, more permanent, and that's what people are looking for, aren't they? But it raises two major questions. One, why do people get demotivated? And two, who or what motivates the motivator? Till we understand 
What motivates the motivator, we can never get on autopilot. And unless we get on autopilot, how long do we expect others to push us from outside? It doesn't work. And then we get into issues on communication. IT has increased the speed of communication tremendously, no doubt. But unless people know how to and what to communicate, they'll only miscommunicate a lot faster, won't they? And you know the cost of miscommunication faster? It's horrendous. And then we get into issues on self-esteem. What is self-esteem? Self-esteem is the way we feel about ourselves. When we feel good, the world looks nice, productivity goes up, and relationships are a lot better, aren't they? And the reverse is just as true. And self-esteem is inversely related to egos. Have you seen people with egos like I know it all? What do they do? They talk down to people, don't they? They put down others, don't they? And every decision they make is more to satisfy ego than makes sense. Folks, think about it. Why does a human being put down another human being? It is sadistic but true. There are some people who feel good when the other person feels bad. They feel superior when the other person feels inferior, which means they don't want to lift themselves up, but they want to pull others down. It's very sadistic but true. It happens, doesn't it? And there's a second kind of ego, which is fragile ego. Anything you say, I take it personally, I get hurt. And folks, we talk of teamwork. What do these, both these egos do to teamwork? They just destroy it. And we find most of the challenges in families, organizations, and societies are major self-esteem issues. And then, folks, we get into interpersonal issues. Why do people deal with us? Not because we are the smartest people. They deal with us because they are comfortable dealing with us. And what gives them the level of comfort? Folks, people don't care how much you know. They want to know how much you care. It is the X factor that connects us together. It is always the intangible, never the tangible. And the question is, how do you build that X factor? That's important. And then we get into goal setting. Folks, unless people have individual goals, how can they type with corporate goals? They cannot, can they? And besides, when we get into goal setting, we always address from the holistic approach perspective. And the holistic approach says that people take work problem to the family and family problems to work. We're totally connected, aren't we? And then we get into issues on leadership. Folks, we find there's no such thing known as a neutral leader. Either they're good leaders or they're bad leaders. And good leaders actively guide and bad leaders actively misguide. And folks, good leaders look to create more leaders and bad leaders look to create followers because they are so insecure. And finally, we get into values and vision. Vision is what? Vision is the ability to see the invisible. It is not problem solving, it's preempting and preventing. And if we can see the invisible, we can achieve the impossible. And finally, we get into values which says our credibility determines our profitability which is not only money but goodwill, which is more important, folks. But profitability is not the reason why we practice values. We practice because we believe in them. Folks, if we practice values because of profitability, we're acting. Then we should go to Hollywood or Bollywood. We practice values not because of profitability but because we believe in them which means there are things in life that we would do or not do. Even if no one is watching, we would still not do it. And that is really what we're talking is character. There's a world of a difference between reputation and character. Reputation is what other people think of us. Character is what we know who we are. And they can be totally two different things. Character is what we would not do, even if we knew we would not get caught, we'd still not do it. Folks, some people are honest because 
they don't want to get caught telling lies. They're doing the right thing for the wrong reason. Whereas some people are honest because they believe it's the right thing to do. They're doing the right thing for the right reason. And that's the difference between the two. And folks, finally we close. All this means nothing unless we have a system to put into practice. And that is what is most important, that we do want to walk away with an action plan, don't we? Inject new vitality into your corporate culture through our in-house programs and keynote addresses. Optimize your performance through Blueprint for Success. Outsell your competition by mastering selling skills. Master platform skills by learning public speaking. Build bridges through effective communication skills. Outperform your competition through exceptional customer service. Make your next conference memorable through our keynote address. Recharge your people to achieve new heights. Increase sales and productivity through positive attitude, motivation and values. Parenting may give headaches, but bad parenting certainly gives heartaches. Bring the positive parenting program into your schools and colleges.